My name is Luke 44 and welcome back to some more Spyro 2 Prototype. I've had a bit of a breather, a bit of a break, but we're back with a bang. And this is a level I forgot to do beforehand, because naturally you're supposed to do this before Aquaria Towers, but yeah. Whoopsie! There's sun and sand. Sunny Beach used to be a paradise. At least before Ripto sent the water workers to bring back Turtle for his favorite meal, Turtle Shell Souffle. Now the turtles spend all of their time trying to escape from the workers. Well, most of the time. This seems to doing all right. They can probably destroy those guys themselves, to be perfectly honest. Uh, now again, there's no point talking to the NPCs because I would imagine they will say the same shite. Other than that, though, I'm not really sure if there's any other differences going to be in this level, but I guess we'll find out. Now I'm just going to have a quick mess to see if I can do this. Oh yeah, I would need to do it anyway, give 100% this in one go. So obviously, as I'm sure you know from the main game, the finished game, that uh, you need climbing to uh, finish this level up. However, there's a way you can beat this level 100% first try, and it will involve some proxy jumping, which I believe I've already shown off in one level. Did I actually? Or am I thinking Spiral 3? I did in some Spiral game in recent videos. But yeah, we have to proxy off some turtles in order to access the orb challenge but it shouldn't take really that long to do to be honest with you so um now if i remember correctly in the earlier versions or the demo version these actually were differently colored but obviously in this version it was correctly colored what a shame no difference to show off there um oh yeah speaking of which apparently um there's some recent news that potentially not guaranteed but potentially we could be seeing an even earlier version of this game um, in the near future, an earlier prototype. Now, I believe in the earlier trailers of Spyro that this level was featured. So I would imagine we'll be seeing this level featured again in future prototype videos in the well, in the future, obviously. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Just to make things easier, actually, we'll do this legit. Of course, just quickly, yeah, you also need climbing. Well, supposedly you need climbing to uh, access this climbing area here to get the gems but uh, I don't want to do that because I don't feel like doing it legit so let's just do this double jump over here hover and there you go there's the gems collected if I was doing a proper let's play sure I would be happy to do this properly but nah the whole purpose of this is to show off the prototype and a difference now in this version the bridge is completed I believe in the earlier demo this wasn't there wasn't a bridge here it was just like sand more or less and you just like glide over to get over here so that's what i mean i wonder when we do get an earlier prototype version that will probably have the level featured that area without the bridge i would imagine so or potentially even something even earlier than the ones we've already seen now we'll backtrack of course because we need to activate one of the challenges or the super flame i guess no right so essentially what you gotta do is basically Charge into this turtle's head, and as you're charging into the head, you want to press the X button, and that will launch you into the air. But I can't seem to get it consistently, so this could take a moment, but hopefully I can. Otherwise, I'm going to have to keep sprouting nonsense until I actually do get it to continue the video. Plus the fact, my excuse is I'm a bit rusty at this too, so yeah, that's my reasoning. Actually, didn't I? Of course. I'm fairly sure I did do the sheep proxy in uh, my last part, actually, of this game. So, if I could do that, I don't see why I can't do this one. There we go. Right. So, you do that. You talk to this dude. And, obviously, we just do the turtle soup as intentional. Now, I would imagine this is not going to be too much different. So, just the same format. I would say, by the way, this is one of the few challenges. We're having super flame... Well, the fireball, basically. It's actually worse than having your normal flame. Because, like, if you obviously you fire your fireball at the turret, they just go all over the place, which can lead to some chaos. And it will get to a point where probably there's a, like, a lot of turtles that will just fly into the, uh, well, into the pot, basically, and just die. So I would say, as I, as I said, uh, that's um, the flame is probably the best thing to have for this challenge. This is why you want to do this now rather than later on when you do have the fireball. Now as I said, uh, this is nothing much, just the same format. 
So what was I saying before? Yeah, so definitely I would imagine we'll come back to this level in the future, in future prototypes. And we'll probably see more differences than we are in this one. Because obviously in this one, I do believe or imagine that the challenge, well, the whole level is pretty much the same as it is in the final version, bar like minor differences. And if there is minor differences, I am not noticing them right now. Because I know there can be like probably gem placements and other stuff like that's different. But uh, I think so far, I think more or less everything is correct. Uh, now, uh, right, so there's, there's a trick here where you can actually charge through this door while having the Toto stand here. That will make things a bit quicker. Um, however, if I do that, I'll get stuck. So we're going to have to do this properly. Uh, but we're also going to get the talisman without the baby turtles. Even though the guy's going to say, Oh, Spyro, you give me the bird. You have saved the baby turtles. Even though I'm not even here. Because I'm just a nice guy like that, of course. <laughs> right, now with that crap done, we can actually finish the rest of the level. It shouldn't take too long to do, to be honest with you. Right, uh, oh no! No, wait, no, 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 okay. We do have to come back here, of course, because we have to rescue the other baby turtles. Mm. Mm. Now, obviously, as we mentioned in the earlier parts, that there is no spark detection, so... I have to hope to God I find everything first try. And I'm happy to say I've managed to achieve that very easily so far. So yeah, well done to me. Pat on the back to me. Right. Let's do this whole area now. Boop. Now, I suppose to make this again legit-ish, we'll actually do this part now with the uh, turtle. So the baby turtles can actually be reunited with their older turtle. I don't know if they're like relatives or just like, you know. Maybe they are. I'm not sure. Oh, it's Spyro. <laughs> is there any skill points in Sunny Beach in general? I don't think there is. So I can't use that as an excuse to show a difference. That's a bummer. Right. So this challenge, well, just destroy lots of crates. Oh yeah, the gems, yeah, shit. I need to get them. Good thing I came back. Wait, what? What did he say? Shit. Oh, I'll never know now. It won't be a difference, but I generally forgot what that guy tends to say. Okay, so. Uh, am I missing any gems in here? Okay, so we do need to go in there quickly. Is it me? Or you can just fire that a lot quicker then? Or am I just mashing the circle button that much? Huh. Curious. I'm not going to have time. Bollocks! This is probably why I don't do 100% runs of this game too much, or ever, really. I think I've done it once before, which was like, what? Probably... Four years? No, five years now. Which is, I think it was like 2015-16 time of day. Anyway, give me the goddamn all of you. Impressive, my dear dragon! Oh! Oh! Where's well, the different gasms? I need them. Right, let's get the rest of the gems, and that should be it, really, for Sunny Beach. And I won't be recording for nine minutes. Huh, <laughs> I'm a fucking pro, lads! I guess, you know what, because it's only been nine minutes, I might as well do the crush fight as well. Because crush ain't gonna take long. So, I might as well do that as well. And that would complete Summer Frogs. Oh, yes, we finished it in one go. Oh, yes. So technically nothing really happened in the end then. <laughs> they just teamed up. Anyways, on that note, let's go to Crush. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have... 
Okay, nothing different there. We oui! Oh no, I don't have head bash yet. Okay, well. Oh, there's no cutscene, I don't think. We have a difference! Oh yes! Oh yes! There you go, straight into Crusher's dungeon. No pissing about. I like it, I like it. Now, is this finally different? Uh, there's no Ripto, I don't think. No, there's no Ripto. Wait, what? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. I don't know why I'm doing this without getting hit, because no skill points. But there we go, people have difference. There's no cutscene for Crush, and there's no Ripto. Yay! Woohoo! It's very anticlimactic though, this fight without the music. I would say definitely the music makes this fight clearly. But you could say that about most boss, boss fights. But as I mentioned before, the reason why it's off because is the music just will keep restarting every like five seconds. Oi. Oh yeah, I forgot that doesn't work, does it? That does though. Yeah, so if you just do the double jump as he's about to hit you with the club, you can just avoid his attack, it's very easy to be honest. And then just do this. And then you can get crushed with him. Easy as that. Good fucking bye. Entering Autumn Plains. So I guess there's no cutscenes between the boss fights, basically. Yay! And there we go. What the hell? Well, I guess we'll find out what that's over. What's that over there in the next part? Ooh, ooh, look, ooh, difference, ooh, ooh, <laughs> right. Anyways, I'll see you later, people. We'll be back with some more Spyro 2 Pro time very soon. Bye, bye.